Chris is looking at me, gone out, not there. What's up, Chris? Have you never seen a struggle with vehicle before? <laughs> uh, yeah, we've had a good weekend, boys, haven't we? We had a very constructive weekend this weekend. Got the old beast started and got the old beast gears going and all. But it's all thanks to you guys as well for all your comments and that, you know. Many hands make light work and all that, innit? Hey, cheers, Jonathan, for that bit of advice about that fuse number 11. Remove that. I'd never have thought that would have fucking worked, you know, ever. But anyway, it did, didn't it? Fucking fair play to you. Just shows you, didn't it, eh? It's easy, isn't it, when you, you know, you could be struggling on that for freaking ages, couldn't I? I could have been struggling on that, and all you needed was that bit of advice, and frick me, the gears go in. The lads couldn't believe it either, I couldn't fucking believe it, and I'll push, eh? I reckon, you know, with a little bit of help from you lads, and a, a good old struggle, we can actually get this P38 to Wales, I think. Well, I'm going to get it to Wales, anyway, even if it's at the back of a fucking recovery truck, I'm going to get it there. <laughs> And it, gotta do now, don't we? It's for charity lads, isn't it? Gotta do it. All these fucking lads looking at me out party lot, looking through the windows lot, because I'm here talking to myself. Hello. I'm gonna go and get some parts now for this eight wheeler, these uh these brake shoes that I inspected last week. So I'm gonna go and get these parts now and struggle on with this one, innit? Kids have all gone to school, so let's get on with it. Let's freaking go. They had the wrong shoes in. And uh, I can't get the right size shoes today, so hopefully they're gonna get them in for later on and then I'm going to carry, I'm going to do that job uh, tomorrow instead. Uh, so what I've got to do now, oh yeah I've just bought, yeah you're right lads, leak off bikes isn't it, forgot about that, you know on that freaking P38, as soon as I read the comments I thought, oh yeah of course that's that diesel leak, leak off bikes, these return bikes on the injectors was all chewed through, so I've just been and picked up this. Yeah hey, oh, look Michael's here, look he's struggling away, look he's cut the floor out, this skip look, and he's going to weld a new floor in it, you're going to lose a few inches though Mike ain't you? We're not bothered about losing a few inches, are we? They overfill the skips all the time anyway, so fuck it, they're not bothered about a two inch. <laughs> hey, Mike. No, You've got no brakes on this, it's spon spongy, aren't they? Spongy, isn't it? We know what that'll do, don't we, Mike? Because this, on this Iveco, it's air over freaking hydraulic, and it'll have air in the system, won't it, Mike? We fucking know, don't we, Mike? We know these Ivecos. We know how these Ivecos work, the fucking sheds. Right, let's get on with it. Yeah, it's had two new cylinders on it already. We fitted them on. It's had that cylinder and that cylinder. Obviously, that's the air lock, the air chamber. So when you put your foot on the brake, that pushes the rod and pushes it, changing it to hydraulic. And then the hydraulic goes to the back calipers. So we'll have a dick at this, won't we? We'll have to bleed it. Yeah, yeah, it's got three cylinders on this. That one there is for the rear brakes. And then them two there are for the front brakes. Obviously one's one side, one's the other side. Michael, yeah. can you just press foot on the brake? Yeah. Just see whether these... Two for the front, one for the back, innit? Can't see no damper around it. Oh! Well, it's only leaps through, but we'll have to bleed rock, won't we? They are fucking things, because they don't leak fluid out, do they? They just seem to drag yeah, air in. The yeah, they just seem to drag air in and then... Yeah, we had trouble with this a bit ago. As Mike says, it was... If you left it, you could bleed the brakes up, they'll be fine. And then if you left it overnight, you have fucking spongy brakes again in the morning. Dragging air in from somewhere, innit? I might need you to give me an hand, Mike, just bleeding it. Yeah. I'll get my spanner. Yeah, build the air up, yeah. Break on! Oh! 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 Mike! I'm just going to take the nipple out because it's bumming up with shit! I meant to have an old it there, look. Obviously, so it can go through there and then come out the end there. But look at the state of it. Never really knew oil going to come out there, is there? Yes, Mike, that's what we wanted. This is the way forward, look. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'll take these with me, Mike. Yeah, you need them. I'll need them on the other side, yeah. On. Off. All you do to bleed brakes, obviously, you get someone to press the foot brake down, then you crack it off, the fluid pisses out of it, and then tighten it back up again, and then get them to release the brake. 
so it's not dragging in air because when he releases the brake and this, if this nipple's still open, it'll suck air into it. So you'll be dragging more air in than what you're going out. Right, foot brake on, Mike. Lock foot brake on, crack it off. Spurt it out, lock. Tighten it back up. Foot brake off. Foot brake off. Off. Gear the valve and all, you can hear that. That's the cylinder going back. It's releasing off slow because there's air in the system. On again. And keep an eye on your reservoir and all that. It's not running all the way down because it'll suck air in again if your brake fluid is low in your reservoir. I'm going to crack off this other side now because if you get all the air out this one and you don't get it all out the other one and then go on the other one, obviously it'll fucking still have air in the system because the pipe splits down here into a T. Right, I'm just going to get the other side off. Right. Let's go to the other side. There we go, nice and clean. Put it down again, Mike. Put right. right there. It's fucking dry as a bone in this caliper. Full brake on, Mike. Off. Where am I? I can't see it because my freaking holders are not. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Right, on Mike! Off! On! Off! I think you're right, yeah, your hair's... Has your hair gone down, Mike? On! Off. On. Off. Well, I'm going to check the brake fluid and then uh, do the same on your side again. All right, it seems to be glad right now. I'll jack it up and just check the it's uh, got brakes. I think it's that other side caliper because all the side caliper, it was dry as a fucking bone. And I just say to Mike, you know, because it's covering fucking shit all the time, all fucking all this muck, obviously all it takes is uh, for one of them seals to go in, in the caliper, and that's it, it'll drag air in straight away. Because all this crap on the calipers and that, obviously, it, it'll it fucking soon fuck up a seal it can. Because we had two new calipers on this like 18 months ago. But obviously, they won't last long with all this crap all covered in them, will they? Yeah, we're gonna get a caliper on order, fuck it. Steam it off, fit the caliper, and then get it brake tested, won't we? As we say, it's it's about diagnosing the problem, that's the problem. It's not actually fitting the part, is it? I've just been off the phone to one of my mates, he just rang me up, he says, uh, professional struggler, is that you? I said, yes, that's me, Jay, what's up? He said, I've got a bit of a problem. I've got an Iveco, what I'll do, 18 tonner Iveco for a customer, and he says, we've been fricking around with it now it's got an intermittent overeating fault i said what do you mean by intermittent he says well it, it, it can do a full day's work fully load and it's all right then uh, then the next day it can go fucking 15 mile down the road and it overeats and i says to him well it need it you've got a i says what about thermostat you changed the thermostat yeah he said i've changed the thermostat i've changed right there michael wants to think all right mike right yeah what was i saying uh yeah, this intermittent uh, overeating fault. Yeah, first thing I said to him is, yeah, yeah, thermostat. Now I've changed the thermostat. He said, I'll tell you what I've, I've been through. He said, I've changed the thermostat. I've changed the water pump. And he says, the customer got in contact with Iveco and they told me to change the heater matrix. So I've changed that as well. Uh, I said to him, heater matrix, where'd that come from? I mean, what what, what the hell? Why, why on earth would it be the heater matrix? fucking overeating the engine it's changed that anyway as well and obviously it's still overeating so i said to him well you've got to think of it as a obviously it's an intermittent fault so if it's if it's a bunged up radiator route the fault would be there all the time wouldn't it you know what i mean it won't it won't just suddenly bung up and then and then not bung up and then bung up and then not bung up well it's rare isn't it i mean i've never heard of it before so i said you've got to think of it as what switches on and off what opens and closes Obviously, that's why I said thermostat straight away because it could be like opening and then and then sometimes not opening and some you know what I mean. And then I thought, oh, I know viscous fan. What about the viscous fan? 
is that kicking in? How's that worked? I said, has it worked off a sense off the engine that, that runs an electrical pulse to put the brakes on? He says, no, it's all one. So it's obviously fluid. So it gets the temperature of the engine, it expands and it puts a brake on. So then the viscous fan's going as fast as the crank. I says, now you need to know whether that viscous fan is actually kicking in when it's at temperature. You need to have the have it overheating and check that that viscous fan's at full full power. I said that's well that I mean it don't cost you does it to to, to try that. So we may as well try that. Honey. I told him just just try that first because if it's not going at full power, obviously there's your problem, isn't it? But if it is going at full power, well you've got to look into it even more, ain't you? So if you have any ideas of the overheating intermittent fault, boys, let me know. But again, you see, we're in a gasket. If it's out like that, it did happen all the time, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be intermittent, would it? Anyway, I've got to go and pick up the kids. My feet are absolutely chocker full of shit. I've got to go and pick up our archer. I had to drop him off this morning, I did, because we was late. What's that? Who the fuck has put my handbrake on? So I'll move my van. Because I don't put my handbrake on. Just driving back and I just thought, fuck me, I've left little Terry in the chassis of that truck. Got to go back and get little Terry now. Poor little Terry. He'll think I've abandoned him, won't he? He'll think, where's Chris gone? He's left me here in this dirty, manky, freaking Iveco chassis. Don't worry, Terry. I'm coming for you. Poor little Terry. Oh, poor little Terry. He'll be worried sick, he will. Hey! I've got him. Don't worry, boys, he's here. <laughs> he's not dead at all. I haven't been gone that long and he's died on me. I bet he gave up the ghost. I bet he thought he's never coming back for me. I'm, I'm, I'm switching off. <laughs> at least I got the old lad. But that's the trouble with that little Terry, isn't he? I've said this before. He's a sticky little bugger, isn't he? Come on, go and pick up the kids now. Come on, Chris. Who are you waving to? This boy is just there! Amateur strugglers! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we start action! Action! Right, lads, uh, Luke's been in contact with me. He said he's getting this website set up for the merch. I've given him all like the domain or something. I don't know what it is, but I'm loads of shit anyway. And he's going to set it all up. So we should have merch soon, kids. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, we, it's coming round next Saturday. This Luke is coming round next Saturday to see me. And then we're going to talk through what merch it is, what, what colours, uh, like kids' merch, adults' merch, professional retired struggler merch. So all merch ready? Yeah, all merch. <laughs> So we're going to get all merched up, And hats. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you just dropped off an end. Right, kids. Say, say goodbye to the boyos. The gang gang boyos. Bye, boy boyos. Big hot for you. Right, someone needs to come and open that gate, man. Right, gel on. Gel on, then, Art. Gel on, then. Gel on that, Chavy. Gel on, Chavy. What's, what's that for that? Some Chavy, that Chavy, isn't he? Is he a Chavy, or not? Oh, Look, Mary's shouting at me now. <laughs> Isn't it? He's, okay, he's holding it like it's really... He's holding it like it weighs about three tonnes. <laughs> he's only holding the gate back. Look at him. Oh, I've never known how it like it. Yeah. Right. Top and morning, guys. Top and morning, guys. Top and morning, guys. Can't even press it. Top and morning, guys. How do you even press it? Well, take it out now. You can, can't you, you dimbo? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, what are you going to do? Leave the phone in there? Or? I didn't...